me talk about the International Oceans Institute. <laughs> As you know, 1999 was the 19th year, 2000 is the 20th year. You have been at this for two decades. It's uh, the 20th year of the training program. IOI goes back 30 years. Okay. But uh, the first 10 years or so, we functioned mostly as a think tank. You know, uh, We had these conferences uh, where all the major uh, characters of the uh, uh, Third United Nations Conference on the Law of the Sea participated. And many of the new ideas and approaches really came out of Patanumaibus and went to the Law of the Sea Conference. But then I think that uh, the time of uh, just functioning as a think tank uh, was sort of over, you know. It had become very, very urgent uh, to assist, especially, of course, developing countries in uh, a better understanding of, of, of what the oceans are. It was clear that education, uh, training, was needed both uh, for the seabed authority and to enable developing countries to really benefit uh, from their newly acquired economic zones. 20-year program is a fairly long program, it's extensive. I have been at the United Nations, as you know, for more than 25 years, and I think I can affirm that I don't know of any other program of this duration that is so supportive of a United Nations effort. Uh, what I find uh, most exciting is that you have kept the Law of the Sea Convention in focus. You have looked at the instruments and you have also now added Agenda 21, Chapter 17. Are you encouraged Absolutely. that this is now, this process of education and learning is working? It certainly is working, oh yes. And the demand for it is indicative. I mean, if the program were useless, we wouldn't have people who wanted to take it more and more and more and more and uh, uh, agreements and programs that came out of the Earth uh, Summit in 92, they all have uh, a, an ocean dimension which is fundamentally important, probably the most important aspect of all of these uh, new instruments. We were very fortunate because we obtained a sort of uh, pump priming, you know, from Swedish cedar. It was only $10,000, which is nothing. But with that, we got started.